I can't do the video looking like this. <sighs> Looks like it's finally time to shave this bad boy off. There we go. Anyway, time for the video. Woohoo! Huh? Where, where the hell's my door handle gone? Sally! Oh, what does he want now? Sally, you need to let me in! No, piss off! Oh, looks like I have to film in my mum's room. For God's sake. Hey guys, so I have to film in my mum's room today because the sun in my room is blinding. Like, the exposure on the camera is rubbish and I literally can't see anything, so we're in here today. So, just deal with it. But anyway, I thought today's video I'd tell you another story about when I was in primary school. And if you haven't seen my other video where I tell the tale of the time... That's actually quite hard to say, isn't it? Where I tell the tale of the time. 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 Sorry, I get distracted in this room. Uh, anyway, you can click somewhere on the screen now to check out my last primary school video where I tell you about where I lied and said my dad was the boss of the Tamagotchi factory. <laughs> but this video is completely Tamagotchi free. Uh, it's going to be about the time I tried to impress my friends by winding up my primary school teacher. She was called Mrs. Stanway, and Mrs. Stanway was a pretty nice teacher to be fair, but she was one of those teachers where you really didn't want to get on the wrong side of her. I'm excited for story time. Good. Now, today I'm going to be reading the story of the three little pigs. Beat David Cameron. Once upon a time there was three little pigs. And um, I don't like pigs, miss. Oh, right, well that's a shame. We'll just pretend the cats then, the three cats then for you. Right, okay. Uh, but I don't like cats either, miss. Right, well, it's just a story anyway. Just ignore the fact of the pigs, yes? Are you a pig, miss? No, 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 I am not. That's a silly question now. Stop it. Let's just get on with the story, shall we? Oh, miss, Rowan's trumped. I have not. Right, right, everyone, just shut up a minute while I read this bloody story. Psst, Mrs. Stanway is a man way. But overall, she was a nice enough lady. Though there is a defining factor about her that I should explain. Basically, she wore these round glasses and she always pressed them right up to her eyes, like right up against them. I'm pretty surprised that she didn't just end up gluing them to her eyeballs. But anyway, one lunchtime, me, Anthony, my brother, Luke 1, Luke 2. <laughs> That's not actually their names, by the way. It's just that there's two guys named Luke in the story, and we're going to have to number them so we don't get confused. So yeah, me, Anthony, Tom, Luke 1, Luke 2, and Nathaniel were all outside on the field because it was a nice day, but we were pretty bored. I'm bored. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do. But I noticed that in the distance, Mrs. Stanway's classroom window was half open. So I thought of a mischievous plan that could keep us all entertained. <laughs> hey, do you dare me to go and knock on Miss Stanway's window? Why? You know, for a bit of fun. Won't she get mad? Yeah, she probably will get quite mad. Yeah, but she'd only get mad if she spotted us though, wouldn't she? Come on, you hide around the corner and I'll knock on. Yep, yeah, my genius plan to keep everyone entertained was to knock on the window. Should we be doing this? Oh, this isn't a good idea. Yeah, it's really not. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, 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 bye. I'm kidding. So when there was no response from her, I decided to peek in through the window, just to check if she was definitely in the classroom. Once I spotted she was in there, I decided to knock a little harder. Now, by this stage, I thought this was the end of it. Turned out Mrs. Stanway was not happy by the situation. Uh, she spotted the six of us hanging out by the window round about the time the knocking happened, and she figured out that it must have been one of us. So she called us all into the classroom, made us sit down, and got one of her other teachers called Mrs. Walpole to sort of keep us hostage and try and get one of us to admit that it was us that knocked on the window. But this didn't go too smoothly. So I'm going to ask you all nicely, did any of you knock on Mrs. Stanway's window? Nope. Nope. No, certainly not me. Nope. 
had a feeling that might happen. So then Mrs. Walpole came up with a game, hoping that it would make one of us confess to who the culprit really was. Right, so on the pieces of paper in front of you, all I want you to do is write down if you did or didn't knock on the window or if you know the name of the individual who did knock on the window. Now, nobody else will know about this. I'll collect the paper in at the end and I'll have a private word with whoever it was, okay? So, please commence. Right, so I've just got all the papers back in now, so let's have a quick look. Right. <laughs> Yeah, things didn't really go to plan. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't enjoy lying to my teachers, but I'd never really ever been in trouble before, so I came up with a plan, hoping that it would get me off the hook. Psst, Luke, you like Tamagotchis? Okay, so I lied when I said this video was going to be completely Tamagotchi free. Oh yeah, they're pretty cool. How would you, uh, like a Tamagotchi for free? Alright, that'd be awesome! Right, cool, so uh, all you have to do is go in the classroom and tell Mrs Walpole that you were the one who knocked on Miss Stanway's window. Then I'll give you the Tamagotchi. Capiche? Cool. Cool what? <laughs> Deal? Sure, okay. Ugh. So he did it. He went straight in there and he told her that he was the one who knocked on the window. But I didn't hear any shouting. Or lecturing. Or even any telling off for that matter. Uh, Mrs Warpole, I, um, I have to tell you something. Oh, whatever's the matter, Luke? Uh, I was the one who, um... Knocked on Mrs. Stanway's window as a, as a joke. Luke, that was very, very silly of you. Yeah, Luke, very silly of you. I know, I'm really sorry. I know you are, and for being a brave little pumpkin and telling the truth. Here, have this Mars bar, go on. Thanks, miss. Wah! Yeah, he got a bloody Mars bar for admitting to doing something that I did. The bastard. So, by the end of the day, I was down a Tamagotchi, felt bad for lying, and I missed out on the opportunity to have a free Mars bar. I was not happy. Well, that was the story of the time I knocked on one of my teacher's windows, trying to be funny. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, and hopefully I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye 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 So then, Mrs. Warpo, glasses. I wish there was something we could do. I'm bringing sexy back